happen at 7 p.m. on ESPN. Here's the next delivery. And Trout swings and hits a high fly ball that's traveling deep out in the left center. It's Trout here. And here's the pitch. He swings and drives a ball deep out in the right center field. That ball is well hit. And that ball is out of here. Shohei Otani. He's now a triple away from the cycle. And we're only in the bottom of the fifth inning. Two-run homer. Angels add on. It's five to nothing. Here's the pitch on Trout. And he blasts the ball that's hit well out in the center field. This one is Trout. stars shined on Saturday night. Angels Radio AM 830. Mike Trout returned to their lineup, hitting a pair of home runs. Shohei Otani also went deep. They pummeled the Mets 11-6. For just their second win in 16 games, Trout and Otani each three hits, three runs scored, three RBIs. New York lead in the NL East is down to just five and a half games over the red-hot defending World Series champion Braves. Meantime, this is sad news. Former Dodgers player Steve Sachs issuing a statement saying that his 33-year-old son, who had always dreamed of being a pilot was among the five U.S. Marines killed during a training flight crash earlier this week in the California desert. Captain John J. Sachs was among the aircraft crew that went down during a training in a remote area east of San Diego. On the field, the Dodgers again in San Francisco. 1-1 one, one from Kimbrell, and that ball bounces away from Smith to the backstop. Here comes Peterson in to score side of the play. Flores goes to third. Estrada is up to second. A bit of a perplexing moment at home plate as Crawford appeared to offer at that pitch. It looked at when it came in as well as though it might have hit him. But all in all, it's a breaking ball that is a wild pitch that bounces off of Smith and over toward the third base dugout. And the Giants now lead 3-1. That's my cousins right here on ESPN Radio. Clayton Kershaw gave up two runs in four innings. 71 pitch return to the mound for L.A. Former Dodger Jock Peterson, you just heard, scored the eventual game winner. Giants passed the Dodgers 3-2. to two. They out hit him, L.A. Did 13-5, but stranded 14 runners, 2 for 10 with runners in scoring position. The post-game extra from our team who had the call for the game right here on ESPN Radio. Thank you, Jim. Mike Cousins, Tim Kirchner at Oracle Park here in San Francisco. A phenomenal game with a postseason feel to it. It was just game two of a series between the Giants and the Dodgers. At the beginning of this game, we said, well, the highlights are going to be the return of Clayton Kershaw. His first outing since May 7th. We knew it would be a bullpen game for the Giants. We didn't know it would be seemingly the tying or go-ahead run at the plate every at bat of the game, and that's what it was in a 3-2 game. And this is a great win for the Giants. It's a bullpen game, and they're going up against the best active pitcher, one of the best pitchers we've ever seen, and you end up winning the game. It was a little sloppy and imperfect here and there, but the Giants have to get this thing going and winning two games in a row against the Dodgers at home. That's a great start. No question about it. The Dodgers have lost 8 of 12 on the same day Kershaw returned. Their ace, Walker Bueller, went on the injured list. Right forearm strain that will sideline him at least two months. The Padres breathing down the Dodgers next. Here's the first pitch. In the dirt, blocked by the catcher. Manny's taken off, throw down to third, gets away, it goes into left. Manny's going to try and score, the throw home, not in time, and they walk it off. That's 97-3, the fan Manny Machado hustled home on a two-out wild pitch in the 10th. That your game winner in game one of a twin bill. The Rocks got a split. 6-2 in the nightcap in between Padres manager Bob Melvin and bench coach Ryan Christensen entered COVID protocol, so they were out for that second game. Coming up, the main event at UFC 275. That's ahead, and we look at Zion's future with the Pels and the Knights' top plays. That's next. You're listening to Sports Center All Night on ESPN Radio. Jason, they will. 